All right, now just before we wrap up the show, we still get some time on our hands. I would like to ask you now how much you know about your own culture and tradition, particularly if you come from the Yoruba nation of this world. You know, say so Yoruba people don't reach excess of over 100 million people for inside Brazil. And the language of Yoruba now, now the second official language for inside Brazil after Portuguese. Now, we've been getting the chance to, to jam uh, the Ogakwata of the Yoruba people for inside Nigeria, talking about the honey of Ife at some time on Monday. And in they tell us about something when they do, when they talk about Princess or Queen Moremi Ajashe. Uh, last year, they've been carrying go different theaters and then they air them. Over 10,000 people will come out, come watch them, and it was completely sold out. They won't do them again for this April. And here with him, the only of if himself been tell us concerning Princess, Princess Moremi, the stage play. story of Morimi, a very powerful story, what happened many centuries ago and is still very fresh in our memory, the story has to do with women and leadership. The story is still relevant in this present world that we should give women a pride of place. It's indeed very important for us to know that we shouldn't categorize women as the lesser sex, the weaker sex. We should encourage them, despite the fact that they are mothers, even girl-child initiatives encouraging women to play a pivotal role in developing the society. The story of Morimi is a very typical story that will continue to be relevant in our day-to-day -day -day life activities. As a result, we decided to bring it on board to refresh our memory that women indeed have been playing a pivotal role in leadership many centuries ago. Women indeed are forced to reckon with. Women indeed can do greater things and achieve much greater heights than even men. They can lead very justly and rightly if they get to that position of leadership. The story of Morimi has to do with how she took it upon herself to liberate her people. Without the story of Morimi, there can never be Yoruba as a race. The story of Morimi actually propelled all of us to spread across everywhere we are as a race today. We are nearing close to 500 million people all over the world. Today, we're in excess of almost 100 million if not over 100 million in Brazil, and that's just one nation. In Nigeria, we are approaching 70 million as a race, and we're spread across many countries all over the world. But the story of Morimi is beyond the race of Yoruba people. It has to do with how to encourage women to support them and to give them a lot of incitements 
on how to add better value to the society. The truth be told, look at countries that women have been in support. They've excelled and they've excelled in different forms and ways. Women are, to me, the best thing God has actually created. If you know how to apply the strength of a woman very well in everything you do, you will get the best out of it. It's very important for us to uphold our heritage, our culture, and our tradition. It is very important for us to know who we are, where we are coming from, and where we are going to. Nobody will tell our story the way we will tell our story. Morimi is indeed a goddess of liberty. Beyond the shores of Yoruba land, Nigeria as a country, all over the world, the basis of Morimi's belief and values is the foundation that they have used to lay to build one of the greatest nations in this world, and that's the United States of America. It is about the belief and the values of Morimi. They call the country, country of liberty. And they have a statue that actually has a very strong link to all the beliefs of Morimi. They believe it's a land of freedom and land of opportunities. Whenever there is freedom, we're bound to have immense opportunities. So for us, and as the Aroli Odudua, the progenitor of the entire Yoruba race, we are all out to uphold our heritage, our culture, and our tradition. <laughs> of Morimi has been there for time immemorial. All what we're doing is refining it by blending tradition and modernity and letting people to have that awareness of the legendary story of Morimi. And for our team in youth, we are reaching out aggressively across to them on how to uphold our heritage, culture, and tradition. We are not leaving any stone unturned. We are using every means to reach out and to get across to them. We have several initiatives that is linked to Morimi that the young populace will embrace it's not something that is yearly, monthly, or biannually, or every four, four years. It's an ongoing thing into perpetuity. As a result, the more we give that awareness, the better for the team in use. So everything is in place, and it is working. Thank you.
Um, okay, thank you very much. Um, the Queen Morimi Ajashoro Initiative, also known as QMA, started in 2016, an initiative of the House of Odudua Foundation of His Imperial Majesty, the Oni of Ife. It started with um, a cultural and leadership pageant from that, we graduated into a book, which we launched um, last year in collaboration with the Obafemi Awolowo University. Last year, we decided to take it a step further, and we collaborated with Bolanli Austin Peters production and created Queen Moriomi, the musical. Um, it, was a, it was an amazing show last year. It sold out completely to an audience of um, up to 10,000 people. It cut across all generations. Um, we had, um, there was an incident where we had four generations from the great grandmother to the grandmother, the mother, the daughter, they all came to watch Kwimorimi Ajashoro. And the, the story of Kwimorimi Ajashoro is about greatness, but what makes it unique is that she was a woman. Um, she was able to take that bold step of greatness and liberated her people from being enslaved. So, and we feel there's the need, as, all, as KBC always says, it's important for us to tell our stories. And that is why we are creating, we are recreating the story of Moremi in a way that it appeals to the millennials and the younger generation. Uh, we at BAP Productions, we do theater very differently. I think we do it on, a, on another level. And um, the, the way we decided to, to push this, we, we didn't hold back at all. We, in, in the music, in the costuming, in the lights, the design, everything, just to bring out the story, to bring out the emotions, to bring out the real essence of what the story is about. It's, it's not just a stage play per se, but it's, it's a movement, it's an initiative, so that's how we took it. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.